Texas, Texas superintendent. Well, he got in trouble. Let's put up the picture for a mass. Soliciting Michael Stevens, a North Texas school district superintendent was among the multiple suspects arrested for online solicitation of a minor. Stevens allegedly sent explicit photos and asked for nude videos and images in return, according to Constable Rosen. It's also alleged that some of the photos sent were taken in his office. The office paid for by tax dollars. In his conversation, Stevens had reportedly planned a <clears throat> trip to Houston to engage in sexual acts with a 15 year old. That's according to Rosen. Stevens is a former coach, principal and assistant principal in various districts around the state of Texas. We're gonna come back to that in just a moment. There's more in addition to Stevens arrest. Precinct one detained six more men who were charged with online solicitation of a minor. Kevin Barahona allegedly had condoms when he went to meet with who he believed was a 14 year old girl. Investigators said Aaron Gutierrez believed he was meeting a 16 year old and also brought condoms. Arturo Gonzalez allegedly went to meet a 14 year old girl for sex. Then investigators said he tried to speed off when he spotted law enforcement instead. Anthony Randell Jacob had condoms when he allegedly tried meeting with a 15 year old girl. Investigators said Luis Hernandez also brought condoms to meet a 14 year old girl. Robert Fabila was accused of driving to Houston from Waco to engage in relations with a minor. An investigator said he has 60 pair of used girls underwear with him. Stevens was headed to Harris County on Thursday to face the charge against him. The rest of the suspects are out on bond. Let's put up the picture of the superintendent again. According to the current report, Stevens has held positions in the district and various districts around the state of Texas as a coach, a principal, an assistant principal, and now superintendent of schools. Um, I highlight the story because this is the reality of many monsters like them, especially the superintendent who had a long history of intentionally seeking positions of public trust in order, this is my opinion, in order to engage, <clears throat> in order to engage in the, let's call it perversion, he is alleged to doing. Now naturally, he will go through a process, it is called due process. Here, this is the court of public opinion, I am not the court of law. He will get his rights afforded to him. The evidence, however, is overwhelming, including the data forensics that shows the back and forth conversation. Now, this is something that's truly adversarial to the progress of a young person, right? Here's what I'm not hearing I'm not hearing anyone in Texas talk about investigating the various other positions he has been in prior to becoming superintendent. I don't hear that there's a massive investigation into all institutions that he has served as an executive leader over <clears throat> as it relates to children. I also do not hear lawmakers proposing any laws, policy, nothing. This actually is against the progress of children. But I guarantee you, if this would have been, let's say, a book that talked about 
black oppression in 1958. And a student said, I'm uncomfortable because the parent told them to say it. All of a sudden, there's a massive movement around getting rid of that book, getting rid of that teacher, and possibly even codifying it into law. They are literally making laws based on opinion and review. A review of a book, well, you don't like it, let's ban it. We can't ban it, what do you mean? We can just make a law and say it's banned. They're not dealing with the issues that our children are actually facing, that's my point. They're not going to make policy changes or recommendations of fight to protect children. They simply want to fight to protect their power. And they have found that the route easy for them, the easiest route for them is to simply keep giving their base the red meat <clears throat> that they have given them for at least the last seven years. All right, my dear brother, what are your thoughts here? Well, two thoughts, first of all, you're right. There are some misplaced priorities in the Texas education system. But here's the other point, there are monsters. There are people with dark impulses in every single profession. And sadly, that happens with teachers, that happens with counselors, that happens with priests and rabbis and other people who have contacts with children. So you always have to be vigilant. But what's so upsetting is that when it is an educator, these educators are asking kids who have dark impulses or have problems to go and get yep. help and to get some therapy and that there's there, there are resources for you. And there are clearly resources available for teachers, even in Texas, employee assistant programs and all the rest. And the fact that this teacher was not able to say, okay, I have a problem. Anybody who's you know, any grown up who wants to have you know sex with a with a teenager who's underage has a problem. But the fact that this teacher was not able to set an example and say, okay, I have dark impulses, I have problems. I'm gonna go get help. The fact that he did not, it seems like, attempt to get any help, to me, that's the most troubling aspect of all of this. Yeah, we shall see how this pans out. Um, according to um, sources I know in Texas, he's a pretty influential person. So we shall see if he gets true justice.